Welcome back, astronauts. So as we all know, Starfield is fast approaching and modders are already planning mods for the game. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the mods that will take Starfield to the next level. And many of these upcoming mods will completely change the game, including Starfield ships, spacesuits, weapons, and so much more. And you can also expect original stories and all new gameplay mechanics from the modding community. Trust me, it's going to get absolutely crazy when Starfield releases and the modding community starts working on their mods. So astronauts, let's jump into the video and take a look at the future of modding for Starfield. So the first mod on the list is easily one of the most requested mods from the community, land vehicles and rovers. I definitely want to see Bethesda add land vehicles as an official DLC in the future, but if not, modders will no doubt answer the call and add land vehicles into the game for sure. And there are so many things modders can do with land vehicles, such as adding basic rovers for exploration, armored vehicles with advanced weaponry, and maybe even super fast vehicles that can traverse the planets 10 times faster than walking. Also, modders or Bethesda could give us vehicles that would allow us to transport our crew members or even make the vehicle act as a temporary home base of sorts. There's so many things that could be done with land vehicles. So I think this next mod on the list would make an awesome official DLC from Bethesda as well. But if Bethesda doesn't do it, I'm sure modders would be up for the challenge. As we all know by now, Starfield gives you the ability to create your very own outpost on any planet. But what about water planets that have no land? We already know that out of 1,000 planets in this game, there will be planets covered in water. That's why I really want to see an official DLC or mod for underwater bases or outposts, similar to what we've seen from movies like The Meg or The Abyss. The ability to explore underwater bases and even outside the base underwater would be just awesome, with the risk of running into dangerous sharks and sea creatures, of course, just to liven things up a little bit. And going up against dangerous sea creatures and monsters would require special weaponry that would only work underwater, making for even more DLC and mod opportunities. So much potential with this, not to mention underwater vehicles as well. And I cannot forget about total conversion mods. And yes, obviously these type of mods will take a very long time to release since they would technically convert the entire game into something brand new. But how awesome would it be to see a total conversion mod that turns the entire game of Starfield into a Star Wars game complete with Star Wars ships, heroes, weapons, and even entire locations like the city of Coruscant. I'm guessing the city of Neon in Starfield could be a great candidate for Coruscant, and some of the weapons already in Starfield could probably be converted into Star Wars blasters. But could we also get lightsabers as well? I'm sure lightsabers will be one of the first Star Wars mods we get, of course. And beyond Star Wars, people already want to see mods for Stargate, Star Trek, Battlestar Galactica, and so much more. So again, so much potential here for total conversion mods. It's going to be interesting to see who steps up to the plate and makes the very first total conversion mod for Starfield. And one of the most mind-blowing mods pitched by the Starfield community so far is either a Fallout 4 or Skyrim mod where the entire map of Fallout or Skyrim is placed onto a single planet in Starfield. My mind was absolutely blown when I heard this idea circulating the community, but will a modder be able to take on such a challenge? That's the real question. Only time will tell if such a mod like this is actually possible where an entire city from a previous game is placed on a planet in Starfield, but I'm sure with some clever trickery or coding, a modder may actually be able to pull this off. We've seen some amazing groundbreaking mods in the past, so this could indeed be possible. And I definitely think zombies and alien mods will be extremely popular in Starfield. Imagine stumbling upon what you think is an abandoned ship, you then dock to it only to discover the entire crew are now zombies. Or perhaps there's a scenario where one of your crewmates or NPCs has a xenomorph alien inside of them, it pops out of their stomach and then scurries away and infects your ship. And modders could even make an alien hunt type 
of mod. This is just one example they could do with aliens or zombies, of course. There's so much more they could do. They could even do things like Resident Evil mods or things like Starship Troopers, where there's just tons of zombies and aliens on these planets. And technically, Starship Troopers are bugs, not aliens. And yes, there will be many quality of life mods that will either improve the game's performance, adjust the menu UI, or perhaps make the gameplay better overall, if there's even a need for that. We already know that well-known modder Pure Dark is working on a DLSS mod that they plan to release during the launch of Starfield in September. And this DLSS mod will be for PC gamers who are using NVIDIA graphics cards, and it should dramatically improve performance and frame rates for NVIDIA RTX 3 and 4 series graphics cards. At least that's the hope. And now it's time to go over your top comments, and these top comments come from the latest video, which was all about AI and how it's going to influence Bethesda and potentially Starfield. So if you missed the last video, just to add some context real quick, there is new AI technology being developed by NVIDIA as we speak that will greatly affect upcoming video games and it will give you the ability to directly talk to AI NPCs using a microphone and have real-time conversations with them, which is going to be absolutely insane. And this is what the first Duke Drokler had to say. They said they'll get the speech more fluid and believable in no time. Now imagine five years or so down the road when all of your companions are using this tech, including the romance interest, all of them acting like believable human beings rather than just scripted NPCs. It's going to be wild. And yeah, it will be wild indeed when this happens. And just imagine this combined with all the other tech that's uh, currently in the works, procedural generation of planets, and so on and so forth. The future is looking very bright for video games indeed. And I think this AI technology combined with NPCs is going to take it to a whole other level. And the next top comment comes from Chillax11 who says, Man, AI will definitely be a game changer if we can use it to help in-game development without impacting people's work. I think it will be amazing because it will give developers more time to express and create amazing games. And this was really well said because, of course, there is concern around AI affecting the game jobs industry, which I totally understand, and I definitely do not want to see AI take away from anyone's job. Instead, it would definitely be better, of course, for AI to work alongside people's job, enhance their jobs, make it more efficient, and this could result in video games being produced much more quickly, where games don't have delays anymore, where they're being developed double the speed. I'm not sure if we're ever going to get to that point, but how cool would it be to see a game the size of Starfield getting developed in half the time because of AI assisting the developers. That'd be really cool to see. Not sure if it'll ever happen, but leave your comments down below on what you think about AI, what you think about mods, all of that stuff. And that's going to do it for the video, astronauts. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. I always enjoy talking with you all about Starfield. I'm going to continue to do it until the game launches in September and far beyond afterwards as we get more and more updates to the game because yes todd howard has confirmed that we will be getting tons of dlc for starfield and of course we're going to be getting tons of mods too so exciting stuff ahead for us starfield astronauts and i'll see you all later take it easy